I'm Mike, this channel is Remotorcycle, and this is my top 10 sport touring must-haves. Right, number 10 is a nice tall windshield. So this is a Madstad windshield, and if you look at this, it's covered in bugs, and that's just from a, a little dinner cruise out and back last night. Those bugs would all be on me. It also gives you an awesome place behind the windshield to put things like your phone and your, your camera or whatever. In the rain, everything stays dry right behind the windshield. So for me, I gotta have a nice touring windshield. Number nine is in the same basic thought with the hand guards, but they keep bugs and water off your levers and off your gloves. The clutch lever was covered in bugs and I couldn't let go of it with my leather gloves. It was sticking to the bugs. So this gives me all that peace of mind. I love to have hand guards for those long trips. Number eight is a good headlight. The FC07 comes with the standard halogen, low high, where the low turns off when you turn on the high beam. It's just pretty terrible lighting. So I've upgraded to this LED module where the low beam stays on with the high beam and it looks a lot better too because it's nice and white. Better visibility in daytime, more safety. Better sight at nighttime, more safety. Much better light, easy upgrade. Number seven are auxiliary lights. Now these are dual beam auxiliary lights with a low beam and high beam. They are approved for the road on low beam. I have the low beam wired separate so that I can choose to turn them on, you know, daytime. If I want them on in the day or not on the day. Most of the time I don't run them in the daytime. The high beam portion is wired to the high beam so that if I flash my high beams to get someone's attention, that flashes the main high beam and both auxiliary high beams. It also makes it easier at night because when you're switching between low and high, everything is activating at the same time with one switch. Low beams are set up as auxiliary, high beams are wired to high beam. Number six, storage. This is my day trip setup. This hard box here is mounted all the time. It, it doesn't come off without tools. It's lockable. I keep valuables and things in here and I th keep things that I need quick access to, like my wallet or whatever. It doesn't get in the way of the fuel filler. Same thing with the rear. Uh, this box is waterproof as well. It's mounted to a seat bracket, so you need the key to undo it. And it's a great place to keep all kinds of, you know. Number five, a center stand. It's separate from the kickstand. For me, it's the only way to go. You can get the rear tire off the ground so you can oil your chain during, during uh, overnights. Having a center stand is a must for me. Number four is a very comfortable seat. This one's super soft. It's nice and wide. It's narrow where you need, need it so you can get to the ground easy. And it's tailored to me. So a nice comfy seat I can spend the whole day in. That's what you need. Number three is a phone mount. Now, I use my phone as a map and I like to have it charging while I'm riding. And in this case, because of the RAM mount, I can charge wirelessly while I'm riding. Number two, extra gas. The tank in the FC07 is 3.7 gallons. That's good for maybe 120 to 150 miles, depending on speeds. I carry a one gallon giant loop. If you ever run out, you got that extra gallon, you can get where you're going. For me, spare gas is a must have. Right, we made it to number one. These are in no particular order. This isn't the number one, probably the seat's number one if we're really honest. But the last item on the list, number one, sport touring must have, the cramp buster on the throttle. It allows you to run the throttle and loosen your fingers. And to me, that's invaluable. So there you go. That's my top 10. Thanks for subscribing. I see my new subscribers. I appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Give the video a like, comment, share it with your friends, and I'll see you soon.